कुलगुरु सहित मंच पर विराजमान समस्त विचिष्ट अतिथिगण अधिकारीगण देश के विभिन्न भागों से आए हुए समस्त डेलीगेट्स आई कुड सी सम फॉरन डिग्नेटरीज एंड वेरी गुड फ्रेंड्स पर्टिकुलरली फ्रॉम नीदरलैंड्स रिप्रेजेंटेटिव फ्रॉम प्रेस एंड मीडिया कलीग्स फ्रेंड्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन सिंस आई सी ए मिक्स गैदरिंग आई एम इन डायलेमा वेदर टू स्पीक इन इंग्लिश आर इन हिंदी आर इन सम अदर लैंग्वेजेस सो आई थॉट इट अप्रोप्रिएट दैट if you talk of a resilient agriculture under rain fed system that to monsoon dependent rain system it is the mix cropping is probably the best cropping <laughs> so i will have to have a blend and in this blend generally i do not speak because i respect time time is already about 1 hour behind the schedule but since the issue is a topical significance and many a times my name has been referred to so if we, i do not put things in perspective probably things would not be in the right direction and therefore i am duty bound to solicit your kind indulgence for a few more minutes despite the fact that it is delayed and then probably we will be able to adjust the session in swing session maybe by sitting late in the evening hopefully mr president i do have your permission mr chairman i do have your permission so with your permission first of all i would like to remember and pay my tribute to this great great soil aurangabad jalna is very close if some at some point of time history of seed in this country would be written then legendary late dr b r barwale name would win golden words <laughs> my very distinguished old friend and always scintillating and vibrating that is why i call him quite young and you know professor c d mai as he referred to ladies pusha sawni and when i was coordinator i'll see early 80s professor mai was in parmani and we were since then we are close friend discussing i'll see and barwale sahab used to go there to attend the workshop and msf one in hyderabad workshop and that workshop is in rice directorate was released for the first time from the private sector kbshn and bsh one from bangalore were there but when this private sector came into being then virtually the sunflower started growing and in punjab and haryana 90000 hectares were brought to bear on oil seed productivity fund because of these efforts so one thing when there was a revolution with the kind of seed which was brought about but the disaster was created at the same time when spurious seed was brought into and plowed back in punjab and haryana so once there is a history of glory at the same time if you do not do the right job in right perspective then it touches the bottom rock so my tribute to barwale sahab more so not only that he helped enormously it was he it was he and he alone when hybrid research and development came into being then barwale sahab gave assistance to icr for developing hybrids in a self pollinated crop like rice and i remember raju almost 3 crore seed yes at that time so my tribute to him 
I'm a great contribution to the cause of agriculture, to the cause of agriculture, to the cause of agricultural <laughs> transformation in this country. This second legendary again, Mr. Yadav is heading as director. I would not forget the name of Shyamlal Yadav. He was honorable MOA minister at that point of time. This institute was built up in there because of his effort. Of course, we were behind. I was ADG seed at that point of time because I was the first ADG. It started with my selection. And then we developed that EFC. And Kumar was the seed, head seed technology IRI. And Rama Ra was the joint secretary. And what aspiration we had. We had seen what kind of situation the globally demands on seed technology research and development. We were looking into as to what biotechnical tools are going to play a vital role. What kind of seed saplings and planting materials should be in the offing. And keeping all that in view, that was established. If you look back, that institution, that is indeed a monumental institution. I would like to pay tribute to all those. Neither Kumar is there, nor Syam Lal Yadav is there. But the kind of position, the kind of equipments, the kind of manpower which was required was not provided. And consequently, the much desired work did not come from that institute. It's a different matter that half of that building you have given to Erie now, but even the half of that is not able to serve the cause of science and society. I would very earnestly request the Agriculture Commissioner to kindly look into this. And to Agriculture Commissioner, because I have hold the charge of Agriculture Commissioner, this position has gone to other people. These were no more diplomats. You look back to the history. I would like to pay tribute again to Chaturanand Misra ji. When he was the minister, I solicited in indulgence. And then again, the technocrats were brought about. And for one year, he said, OK, you have the charge. And thereafter, Hajra came. As agriculture commissioner, then Dr. Mai came, and now you are holding the position. These positions are indeed extremely important for agriculture transformation of this country. The third thing, as my name was referred with respect to Patil, Dr. Gupta is mentioned. Yes, it is. No. Misraji, the vice chancellor. Yes, it is true. It is he who brought to my attention, it was evening about 4, 4.30, Patil Sahib, do you remember? Yes. And Prabhu was there and A.K. Singh. A.K. Singh and uh, Mr. Singh. And he was leading, he came to the DG, I was DG, and he just said, Sir, now trade division has classified Basmati varieties that one of the parents should be Basmati, then only it would be called variety. मैंने शुद्ध हिंदी में बोला कि भाई किसी आदमी के गुण से उसको जानते हैं कि उसके माँबाप से जानते हैं व्हाट इज़ रोमा व्हाट इज़ टेक्सचर व्हाट इज़ इलांगेशन व्हाट इज़ हार्डिनेस सो बासमती जे शेंशली गट टू बी डिफाइन्ड बेस्ड ऑन द क्वालिटी पैरामीटर्स राधर देन फ्रॉम वेयर द जीन हैज कम टू दिस so within 10 minutes, I have written a DO letter to Secretary Commerce and Pillai was the Secretary Commerce. And again, I would like to pay my respectful regards to Sarat Pawar sahab. I went to him. He was the Agriculture Minister. I said, this is the anomaly. He immediately constituted a committee. I talked to Pillai. Pillai came down to Krishi Bhavan. Radha Singh was Secretary of Agriculture. On the same day, we changed the definition that these would be the parameters for defining the quality basmati. And when gadget notification on the same day was made, the 1131 which you mentioned, Dr. Patil, 1300 rupees quintal it was being sold. Next day it was 3100 quintals. And Chauhan Sahab on that day I had a great tribute to visit. Haryana, and uh, 
Gautam Dipti DG was with me. And next day, our vehicle was full of flowers and malas and we were moving and there was people coming from the roadside. Never saw such a treat. We didn't stop anywhere. That was the response of the farmer. They got the price and that is the reason that at that point of time we were exporting Basmati rice worth 400 crores annually. Today on an average it is 35,000 crores of rupees annually. We were nowhere in the world. Jasmine Rices were ruling the order of the day and our friends from Pakistan, Pakistani Basmati Rices and today we are number one in the world. And if you go, the same trade which used to tell that 1131 is not Basmati because definition was not changed. Now if you go to Iran, in Iran 11.21 is only which is recognized as Basmati. No one else is called as Basmati in entire Iran. I have been their advisor and I have eaten in nook and corner everywhere 11.21. That's the transformation. But here I would like to bring to your kind attention that the institution which brought this revolution, 25, how much? IRI, 25 crore is due bill on maintenance of CPWD. They have not been able to pay. And this is how you want to become Vishu Guru. There were, because I was chairman of the QRT before coming here, I have submitted the report to the government. And I'm very sorry to show it is beyond my imagination. In any working economy, if you want to survive, there is a ratio of 60% on establishment and 40% on working expenses. IRI, which is considered to be one of the premier institution, it is 87 and 13. I have given in writing and I have put a table as well. So 73% is going on establishment and 13% is coming on working expenses. And when I analyze further five years, on an average, 4% is go only going for research. Research contingency is only 4%. And to the worst, to my utter surprise, it is 2.51% in the year 2022 and 23. I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine beyond my comprehension. So I have written very categorically that this should be brought to the kind attention of the Honorable Prime Minister. I made it a point that it should be done within a week, but unfortunately or fortunately, the leadership at Agriculture Minister otherwise could have got it done before coming here. Because these are very serious issues. And this essentially brought to beer. One has to say spade is spade if you want to really make a development. Because you are the best friend if you say what is right and what is wrong. Today we are talking about global scenario. And we were very happy. And rightly you all said that we have so much wheat, we have so much rice. Rightly everything is. And to sum up I would like to mention that with this all, six times we increased wheat and rice production. Cereal production went up by six times. How many do call vegetable and fruit as a revolution? It is more than 10 times. Milk more than 10 times. Fish more than 15 times. And egg more than 50 times. Egg production in this country has gone with a compound growth rate of 20% per annum in the last 50 years. Such a development is unheard of. So all all that has been done. But the fact remains, the fact remains that we are 17.78% population of the whole world. We have only 4.2% water of the whole world. And we have only 2.3% land of the whole world. Only 2.3% land. 
almost 18 percent population, only 4.2 percent water, and per unit pressure on Indian soil is five to six times more than the world average. Remember, that is why while talking about what kind of farming we should practice, we must look into the nitty gritties. And we must, if you look back to the vulnerability Asian reports, we talk about sea rise, we talk about carbon dioxide, we talk about methane, we talk everything on the earth. But we never bother to read into the Asian reports. What Asian report on climate change and impact on agriculture on 0 to 10 vulnerability scale, 0 to 10, my sir, 0 to 10 pathology mein bahut padhaya gaya. Indogangeti colubium, which is the greenery, is on 9. What a serious situation. Nobody is bothering about. Now we talk about degradations. Almost 36% soils are chemically degraded. We all the time talk about all kind of farming. My friends from Netherlands are here. Sir, how much fertilizer you use per hectare per annum? More hundred, six hundred fifty kilograms NPK per hectare per annum you use in your country. We are not using more than hundred fifty on an average Punjab, maybe three hundred thirty, three hundred forty kg. But what has happened? Even a developing country like Egypt, more than 550 kilograms NPK per hectare per annum. In Nile Delta, one of the most productive delta, there is no nutritional imbalance. Why then there is here in India? We are not using, we are abusing. 4 to 1 is the ratio for NPK. What is the ratio? What about micronutrient? What about supplementary nutrients? 37% medical spills are because of these deficiencies and nutritional imbalances. One must remember whether you apply by organic means or by inorganic means, plants do take nutrient by ionic means only. This is the fundamental principle. You go for soil health test, 80 to 90% processes, soil processes, are by soil biota. You have soil health card, NPK, five mother nutrients, EC and PS put together, 12 together, and that you call it soil health card. And 80 to 90 percent, which is because of soil biota, soil biota is not there. Then what kind of soil health card you have got? The precise point which I am trying to drive home is, please look into this. Because the way climate is changing, climate was changing, climate is changing, climate is bound to change, but the way it is changing, should it change the way it is changing? And if it is changing and it will change, then commensurate with the requirement, you will have to make investment. I am very sorry on this count. People are not speaking the truth. When I discuss with them, they tell everything. The government of India's data which is available on research in intensity. How much we spend in R&D in agriculture and how much agriculture did that's the ratio. 0.3 percentage in India. You are and most populous is China. It is just double 0.6. And 1 to 10 percent population in developed economies is there in agriculture, including United States of America. They spend 1 to 2 percent. And we want globally to be competitive. The kind of biotechnological tools, the kind of gene editing, the kind of transgenic technologies. I don't say what is right and what is wrong. But you must look into the science behind this. Whether you like or you don't like, today or tomorrow, transgenic culture in agriculture is going to be the order of the day. Because to manage these, say for example, 
Temperature is increasing in 100 years. It has increased about 0.6 degree. Now almost one and a half degree it is likely to go in 100 years. But do you know there are certain bacteria and viruses? There are bacteria which thrive at 112 degree Celsius. Come, my sir. Boiling point per we survive karte. So that's the possibility. Bacillus thuringiensis is a microorganism and Bt gene you have taken about. Today you are talking about it is a transgenic for 50 years you have been telling, using that. When you are taking RNA vaccines and DNA vaccines, you never remember what, what, what it is. You never remember. Nobody talks about. So the very precise issue is science and technology should be brought to bear. Yes, of course, risk assessment based release should be order of the day. Now the new technologies which are there, say for example, everybody, that is why I am bringing, trying to draw your kind attention. You have released 72 varieties and you do say that these are the first fortified varieties. It's a different matter that fortified varieties have been coming on and off there. If you look back to that. But anyway, that's not the dispute. The dispute is that these are essentially derived varieties. Means this is with respect to one gene or one trait. How are you going to certify your seed when there is no phenotypic variation? Tell me. So it's, it's a laughing stone, as simple as that. Are you looking into? So I'm giving a suggestion, my friend, for two years I'm listening this. <coughs> Marker assisted technology develop immediately. So that you can say that this is X variety because you have changed the name and you have had gadget notification. As per Indian Seed Act 1966, you have gadget notification and rule regulation of 1969. So once you have a gadget notification, seeds can be produced anywhere in the Indian territory, but you have no effective mechanism to certify that seed. Why did you not think about it? You should have thought about it. At least do it now. Now you, you want to be a beast guru, I would be happiest man, please be there. Japan, what is the seed standards? On seed bone diseases, what is the seed standards in Japan? Your blue book you read, PK Singh, 99.9, 98.5, 99.99, this is what is written. In Japan, do you know what is written? 100.00. So tolerance limit is 0.0. .0. If one plant is having a disease, which is seed bone, it is bound to spread. So you learn this from these developed economies, at least good thing. Say for example, seed certification there in United Kingdom, UK. Cambridge is a small place, they train people, they give license. But who does the seed certification? It is the private sector. What do they do? They just take samples. And they assess whether you are doing a right job or wrong job. If you are doing, then there is a heavy punishment. And then things are going well. Say, for example, seed certification. There is no need of grow out test there. What is the system? You have this genetic purity, you have physical purity, etc., etc., etc. And if germination is tender is yaks, even you can give the seed for sowing. And if it does not germinate and it fails any minimum prescribed standards, you will have to compensate to the farmer. It's working. The precise point which I'm trying to drive home is that the way science and technology and paradigms is existing, there is no barrier to gene flow across plant and animal kingdom. And as you go along, Far more product based on gene editing technology would be available. Be it autogamous or allogamous, hybrid culture in agriculture would become the order of the day as you go along. And numerous combinations and constellations. 
द वेरी बेसिक टिस्सू कल्चर इफ यू वॉन्ट डिजीज फ्री प्लांटिंग मटीरियल्स टिस्सू कल्चर प्लांटिंग मटीरियल्स विल बिकम द ऑर्डर ऑफ द डे एज फार एज स्टैंडर्ड्स आर कंसर्न वी आर लैकिंग फार बिहाइंड देर फॉर देर इज ए नीड टू वर्क ऑन दिस सिंस वी आर ऑलरेडी लेट आई विल फिनिश बाई टेलिंग ओनली वन थिंग मेगा सीड प्रोजेक्ट वॉज मैं what happened i had proposed a budget of 200 crores as secretary and dg icr from my budget planning commission did not care for 8 9 months with the grace and that is why i pay gratitude this i have been not telling and not writing but since you have referred to then dr narman borlak was here and i have taken borlak to prime minister honorable prime minister manmohan singh ji was there so manmohan singh asked a question to borlak prime minister was buried about the seat so do you know we are all indian very humble people if there is a farmer we respect him so much and that too he was a noble laureate so prime minister asked i am really terribly buried dr borlak would you suggest something in seed burlag smile and said mr prime minister why don't you ask mr rai <laughs> <laughs> and then i got the opportunity i said sir there are certain problems here is a project planning commission has not here would you kindly look into and if it is on merit then it must be approved next day borlak myself and justice barma and montek singh ahliwalia he was the deputy chairman we all were going to pantnagar because everybody was awarded padma wo kya bolte hain usko degree dsc on risk kaja so there was a charter plane so we had a discussion montek said okay i will have a meeting and then full planning commission was called for except prime minister and all the seven members were called jnl srivastava secretary agriculture he was also there and then i made a presentation 80 minutes presentation all the six members including the deputy chairman agreed but one member who was to deal with science and agriculture he was adamant to mantek singh ne mere ko aankh mara ki kyon raha saab मैंने कहा हुजूर एक लाख कम कर दीजिए <laughs> तो वो प्रोजेक्ट एक लाख में वाई आई एम मैंशनिंग दिस आई एम सिंपली बिकॉज ऑफ फैक्ट मैंशनिंग दिस दैट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया मदर आर्चर्ड इन हार्टिकल्चर सेवेंटी फाइव करोर्स वेर एलोकेटेड देयर from where you could have had planting material in this country in horticultural crops if there could not have been mother orchards planning commission has rejected because great stalwarts are there similarly only jaintu rohu was there as a hybrid in because they were not knowing the concept brood stock concept was brought about and 25 crore was given and from there brood stock collection and quality seed production in fisheries is started my friend and then you have inland aquaculture growth in this country so at the long last i will give a message through this project while remembering and praying gratitude to all these people who help ki somnath par muhammad ghaznavi ne galat kaam ke liye 17 bar attack kiya सही काम करने के लिए सीड एसोसिएशन और सीड साइंटिस्ट को अगर सरकार पर सत्तर बार अटैक करना पड़े तो कभी चूकना नहीं चाहिए आई हैव मेंशन दिस दिस इज नथिंग पर्सनल आई मे बी हियर टुमारो ही मे बी दियर डे आफ्टर टुमारो अदर गवर्नमेंट इज देयर बट दिस एग्रीकल्चर एंड द फार्म एंड द फार्मिंग कम्युनिटी वुड बी देर इट्स अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ आवर सर्वाइवल so with all the humility at our command with all the gracious presence and all the faculties 